I've always loved computer keyboards. I am by no means a keyboard enthusiast, but over the years I have owned a few of them. I even built a fully custom mechanical keyboard a couple years ago. I liked it, but I don't love it. But then I found this. I was opening this box on the floor as I was afraid that it will contaminate my desk. This is an IBM Model F keyboard. I purchased this beautiful example on Kijiji, the Canadian version of Craigslist. The condition of this keyboard is immaculate. Although the previous owner took great care of the keyboard, to me, every contact I made with the keyboard feels like there's a million germs crawling onto my skin. Other than the cable is cracked here, overall this keyboard is a 10 out of 10. I'm so happy with the purchase. According to Wikipedia, the IBM Model F was produced mainly from 1981 to 1985, way before I was born. The time is now November 2022 when I shot this video, so we're looking at around 40 years of germs and dirt all around the keyboard, and that's why I decided to take it apart completely and give it a deep clean. I even brought out my ultrasonic cleaner to clean the keycaps. Separating the metal plate and the circuit board was not that hard. It was when I tried to put them back together which gave me a hard time. There's also this piece of foam in the keyboard that is still intact instead of falling apart into a million pieces like I saw in some other videos. I'm not a big fan of these cork feet. I think they're outdated, but then I remembered this keyboard was from the 1980s after all. I used some dish soap to clean up the dirt and grime and gave the parts a nice scrub. As you can see here, the circuit board is extremely clean, and this keyboard even has the plastic sheet protector in perfect condition, so I guess no one has taken apart this keyboard before. I was using some alcohol wipes to clean off as much germs as possible given that this keyboard will be sitting on my desk for the rest of its lifetime. What a great use of these two law books. They are thick, they provide a nice elevated platform for me to place the plate on so that I can put the keyboard back together easily. The switches in this keyboard are called buckling spring switches. So there is a spring attached to a base plate inside each key. Every time you press on a key, the spring will buckle which has a distinct satisfaction feel of key pressing when you type with the keyboard. This space bar was a pain to put back together. It took me at least half an hour just to align them correctly, otherwise it will not work like this. Overall, I had a lot of fun taking this keyboard apart. The whole cleaning process took me about two days to complete. After washing all the parts, I let them dry for about 24 hours before putting the whole keyboard back together.
To put the keycaps back onto the keyboard, I had to tilt the keyboard to the back so that the spring will sit correctly when I press the keycap in. Now repeat this process 83 times and it will be a working keyboard. I also purchased this converter on eBay so I could use this keyboard with a modern computer. Coming up is a typing test which I recorded using my blue snowball microphone sitting right in front of the keyboard. It should provide an accurate sound of what the keyboard sounds like. Enjoy! Take 10, this is a good take. Mm -hmm. 